Hi guys, a very good morning to all of you. So this is the first February 2021 and this month is going to be a little hectic for all of us because March 6th is the date of your RBI grade B phase 1 examination. So I would like all of my students to fasten their seat belts and prepare hard for the examination. And don't worry guys, I am your I am your mentor. I will be there with you guys. If you find any kind of trouble, then you can contact me through the Telegram group. So let's begin this video. Before that, the people who are coming for the first time, guys, subscribe and hit this bell notification because in the upcoming days, we are going to provide you with very important sessions for RBI Grade B. So if you don't want to miss those sessions, then do subscribe and hit this bell notification so that whenever the new video is uploaded, you will get notified instantly. Also, this is the telegram group which I was talking about. Here you can connect with me and ask your queries directly. So do subscribe this channel as well. The link is in the description below. And here is our first question. So do listen to me very carefully in the questions because these questions are important for your phase 1 exam. So, on which uh, rocket will the Sri Shakti satellite be launched? So, first of all, uh, let's read out the options and find out the answer. Then we will discuss what this satellite is. So, we have GSLV MK111, PSLV C51, PSLV XL, SLV3, PSLV C4. So, which one is the right answer? The right answer is option B. PSLV C51 is the a rocket on which this Sri Shakti satellite will be launched. Now guys, this satellite has been prepared by the students. Students of a private, of a university. And the name of that university is Sri Shakti Institute of Engineering and Technology. So this is the name of the institution and a 12 member team of students has prepared uh, this Sri Shakti satellite with the help of ISRO. So this satellite is going to be launched on this uh, rocket and this is a good endeavor towards encouraging space sciences among these students and uh, the higher education institutions in the country. So that's all for this question. I hope that you have got what I am trying to tell you. Now my question from you is that where is this institution located? So this is a very basic and I would say off the topic question that I am asking you but still I want the answers from you. So tell me in the comment section which uh, at which place is this institution located. Now the next question with which Japanese company has India signed an MOU to ensure quality of textile and clothing exports to Japan. So this is the catch here guys, the purpose of this MOU as specified by the Japanese buyers. So this MOU has been signed in order to ensure the quality of Indian textiles and clothes that we export to Japan. Now this MOU has been signed by Ministry of Textiles from the Indian side and from the Japanese side which company is it? Let's read out the options first. So we have North, I North Island Investment Limited, Porters Limited, Nisikin Quality Valuation Center, Piri Tri Trident Co uh, Company, Arimoto Chemical Cooperation Limited. So which one is the right answer? The right answer is option C. The quality word is here. So from the quality, you can easily remember that it's this Nisikin Quality Valuation Center that Indian Ministry of Textile has signed this MOU in the field of textile and uh, clothing exports quality. So here, this is the fact that you have to remember uh, as well that the MOU is for textile and clothing quality. So this is the uh, very important fa fact from this question. Now guys, here are two questions from you. First question is, who is the Minister of Textiles? That is, you have to tell me. And the second question is, who is the head of this company? So these are the two questions that I expect you guys to answer in the comment section below. And guys, since it's the exam time, do share this session as much as you can with your friends so that they can also prepare for the examination. Okay, so let's read out the third question which we have on the screen. In which Indian state have 
US food major Car Cargill launched a program in partnership with UN World Food Program, Delhi based Center for Responsible Business to improve the nutrition status. So basically, a program has been launched by three organizations. First is this Cargill, then second is this UN World Food Program, and third is this Center for Responsible Business. And all these three organizations have launched a program in a state and the purpose of that program is to improve the nutritional status of that state and remember guys this uh, program is in line with the portion of of our central government now which state is it so we have Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar and Punjab in the options the right answer is Rajasthan and remember that this MOU and sorry this program will be implemented in Jaipur so Jaipur is the exact place where this program will be implemented and remember the purpose that is to improve the nutritional status and it is in line with the Poshan Abhyan which is a very important scheme of the government of India. So again I hope that you have guessed what my question is going to be from you. So the question is the launch year of Poshan Abhyan. So tell me the launch year as well as the full form of Poshan Abhyan. Next is, with which agency has India signed a strategic partnership framework for cooperation in strengthening India's energy security and its cleaner fuel transition plans? So basically, an MOU or we can say a strategic partnership framework. A partnership has been set up by India with another country for the uh, for strengthening India's energy security and cleaner fuel transition plans or so basically in simple terms the purpose of this framework is to boost the renewable energy in India and to assure the energy security of India. Now with which organization this agreement or this framework has been set up. So we have office of energy efficiency and renewable energy OPEC International Energy Agency, International Renewable Energy Agency, American Council on Renewable Energy. In the options, which one is the right answer? So the right answer is option C. Guys, this is a premier or we can say the apex organization in the field of energy if we talk about. So therefore these static facts related to International Energy Agency are important and you are going to tell me the facts. So the facts related to International Energy Agency that I am expecting from you are first is establishment year, second is member, third is headquarter and fourth is the director. Because director is the head of this organization. So these are the four facts that I expect you to tell me and remember guys the questions that I ask are from the static GK part of your uh, general awareness subject of RBI grade B phase 1 so do not miss out the questions do mention your answers in the comment section okay so for this question this much is the content that we should discuss in by keeping the RBI grade B in our point, uh, perspective okay so the next question is related to the appointment who among the following has been appointed as the MD of State Bank of India. So we have Swami Nathan, Janki Raman, Ashwini Kumar Tiwari, Harsh Kumar and option B is both A and B and both B and C. So which one is the right answer? The right answer is option D. Swami Nathan, Janki Raman and Ashwini Kumar Tiwari are the new MDs that have been appointed. Now here you have to remember this thing that Ashwini Kumar Tiwari was the former SBI card MD and CEO and he has just resigned from that post in order to join SBI as the MD of the entire uh, group. So he has been appointed as the MD. Apart from this there are two other MDs as well. So the two other people are CS Shetty and Ashwini Bhatia. So Ashwini Bhatia is quite a famous name. You must have come across this name many times in news. So remember that Swami Nathan Janki Raman, Ashwini Kumar Tiwari, C.S. Shetty and Ashwini Bhatia are the four MDs and chairman is Dinesh 
Kara. So these are the major posts in SBI. Now what is the tagline of India's largest bank? This is your question that you are going to tell me in the comment section. Who has become the first female PM of Estonia? So this is a European country and it's the first time that a female prime minister has been elected in this country. So who is that person? You have the four op uh, five options. And what is the right answer? The right answer is option B. It's Kaja Kalas. Since it's the first female PM, there are high chances that this question can be asked in the examination. So do remember that it's this person that has been appointed as the female prime minister of this country. Capital and currency of Estonia. These are two questions that you have to mention. Currency is very easy because I have told you that it's an Euro, it's a European country. So tell me the name of the capital as well as the currency of this country. Who won the Roman Roland Book Prize 2021 for translating French novel Le Marriage de Placid? So guys, first of all, let me tell you something about this prize. So this Roman Roland Prize is given to the translators of, uh, to the people who translate French books into Indian languages and English. So it's specifically, the prize is specifically for translators and publishers who translate the French books into Indian languages. Therefore, the jury of this prize is also mixed. Some are from French side, some people are from the Indian side. So that's the major fact that you have to remember about this prize, that it is specifically for Indian translators who translate French books into Indian languages and English language. Okay, so 2021 prize has been given. Who is the person that has got this prize? It is option D. So he is a Tamil translator. So he has got this prize for 2021 and remember that this person has also be, uh, been invited as a guest of honor at the Paris Book Prize, Book Fair. So can you guess this fact? The fact is the original author of this book. So who wrote this book at the first place? This is your question. Tell me, find out the author of this book and tell me in the comment section below. And remember that you have to remember the name of the author as well. So if you are not able to find the name of this author, then tell me. I will tell you the answer of that question as well. Okay, so this question is from our sports section. Which country is hosting the 2022 AFC uh, Women's Asian Cup? AFC is Asian Football Confederation. So we have Japan, India, Singapore, Malaysia and Thailand in the options. The right answer is our own country. It's India that is going to host this 2022 AFC Women's Asian Cup. So guys, here this video ends. If you have found it useful, then like this video and share it as much as you can with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned with our channel for more upcoming videos, for more useful videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.